If you are an opening batsman, you are supposed to nick off behind or be LBW. That is what we expect, especially first morning of a test. That is a socially acceptable way to be dismissed. Playing a reverse sweep before lunch on the first day of the first test is not. But I always think of that Verinder Sewag quote where he talked about, it didn't really matter if you were caught at slip or deep point because either way you're out. I think it's worth noting here that Rory Burns is absolutely nothing like Verinder Sewag. I mean, no one was, but Rory Burns is less like Verinder Sewag than most other test openers. Sewag was the best boundary hitter, had an average of nearly 50 and didn't really live for singles. Rory Burns is a strike rotating opener who is averaging 32 in tests. They're both opening batsmen and human males, but that's about all they have in common. That's what makes Rory Burns' idea to play the reverse sweep seem so bizarre. But you need some context to all of this. The first is that opening the batting in India over the last couple of years has been really challenging. Mohamed Shami, Ishant Sharma, Umesh Yadav have been incredible. And even the spinners Ravi Chamwin Ashwin and Ravi Jadeja have been pretty tasty. And because of all that, traveling openers have barely lasted a minute. This is the average opening partnership for away batsmen in India. You just don't expect numbers like this from opening in India. The 10 years before this, the touring team were averaging 38. Today was the first opening partnership of 50 runs from a touring side since David Warner and Matt Renshaw did it in early 2017. And you've forgotten Matt Renshaw was a thing. This makes this a pretty substantial opening partnership. And they were both looking pretty comfortable when Rory Burns played that reverse sweep. Let's talk about reverses though. The last three years of Test Cricket, there have been 638 reverses played. 0.8% of all shots from spin are reverses, and batsmen have done it very well. The average of this shot is 47, while scoring at 10 runs and over from it. It is the fifth quickest scoring shot against spin, and has a better average than a regular sweep and even the off-drive. This is a productive shot. Lefties play reverse sweeps against off-spinners less than average, at 0.6%. So one every 165 balls. And there have been only 13 reverse sweeps from off spinners coming over the wicket to left-handers in the last three years. So this isn't a very regular thing. We only started counting things like this in 2006, but there have only been 40 reverse sweeps in the first session of a test. So people don't play it that much. And guess what? Neither does Rory Burns. Crickviz told me this was his eighth reverse in tests. He's also reversed 23 balls in other first-class cricket. Of those 31 times, eight have been from off spinners. In white ball cricket, he's played another 63 reverses. So in all professional cricket, he has 94 reverse sweeps. Now I'm lucky, as next to me is Gareth Batty, who is not only an offspring, but one from Surrey, so has seen Burns working on his reverse sweep. So even though he hasn't played it much in games, Gareth assures me that this is something that Burns has been working a lot on. But the question is why he played it now. Ravi Chandran Ashram was bowling around the wicket to Burns, and Burns does struggle against offspring. And it's not just high quality offspin he struggles against. Roston Chase has dismissed him five times in 93 balls. Chase's test average is 42. Ashwin was bowling around the wicket to Burns, and for a while, Burns seemed to be playing it pretty well. The first ball of the 24th over, he danced down the wicket and drove Ashwin past mid on. So Ashwin went over the wicket. The first two balls were around off stump, and Burns had no problems. Then Ashwin delivered a flighter ball outside leg stump with little spin. Burns couldn't be bold from this, or LBW because it was pitching outside leg stump. Yet, he looked a little bit nervous when he was playing it, perhaps because there was a leg slip there. The next ball Burns reversed. There are stories of reverses being played as early as the late 1800s. But the modern day version was said to be invented by the Muhammad brothers. Both Hanif and Mushtaq have been credited, and they did it in the 1960s. And it was a shot that was simply about moving the field and upsetting the bowler. That is why you play a reverse sweep. It's a shot with more risk than others. It was the first shot in cricket where you had to premeditate it every time. The problem really lies when you were dismissed from it. This isn't like when Mike Gatting was out reversing Alan Border to lose a World Cup. People are now used to the reverse sweep being played. It is kind of a normal shot. But even though I talked about it averaging 47 before, it's also important to note that it still dismisses you every 28 balls. It is a tactical risk that batsmen play. Burns was probably playing the shot because of the leg slip, or maybe it was because of the angle made him feel like he could help the ball on its way without a chance for an LBW. He probably thought this was a risk worth taking, but he made an error playing the shot, perhaps because he's not an expert at it. Later in the day, Shabazz Nadim was bowling, his left arm orthodox coming over the wicket to Joe Root, a complete mirror image of what Ashwin did to Burns. Root reversed, got a top edge, and it flew out towards backward point. It could have been caught, but it wasn't. 
The reverse sweep is a shot that batsmen play now, and we are getting more and more used to it. And yet Burns is the first left-handed batsman to reverse sweep a ball from an off-spinner in the first session of a test from over the wicket. For a little time, he may also be the last. The problem is that Rory Burns went out, but not in a socially acceptable manner. 